Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, Rock, paper, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs>
so yeah so okay in addition as well i also obviously shared my financial situation with jonathan at the time i guess to be honest in the beginning of the relationship we didn't really talk about it it was mm. over time when like he would work i would work then we would open up and uh so when i would get paid i would be like oh i got paid this is how much i got paid mm. and it would just be like a general conversation yeah. not like a interview so how much <laughs> did you get paid this week you know what I mean? true, yeah. so we were in a relationship but we weren't at that level of commitment for me to be like so questionnaire <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? yeah. so i think that's a key important thing for people like for people to know that you're not if you aren't like sure you're gonna marry this person mm, yeah. or you're not on that journey to marry this person you have no like level of commitment yeah. for me to be like for you to be like yeah this is what my bank account is saying mm. like it's just like a free will conversation that yeah. just runs over time that now like, you definitely got a phone and i definitely agree because i remember now you watch you're talking i remember no nah, that's cool i remember like you know the savings i had i didn't tell you all my savings you yeah, know what yeah, I, mean? I, yeah. I probably told you yeah i got savings mm. i didn't tell you the, the different saving amount, accounts yeah. the different amounts i had you yeah. see what i mean i'm like whoa 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 like i know relationship but yeah. like you ain't at that level mm. of commitment to like be like oh i need to know everything yeah you and, see what and i mean and i didn't i don't remember us like showing each other bank accounts Mm. details and no. stuff but i feel like when we were nearly getting married that was the things that we started yeah. doing when you're in the dating process or when mm. you, you are boyfriend and girlfriend in the early stage yeah. to check how that person spends their money yes. is it something that you can cope with because i think people just overlook that bit mm-hmm. and and then five ten years down the line why are you so stingy you oh, don't spend that money on me well the person was stingy ten years yep. ago but yep. you just didn't look Yep. You didn't open your eyes. <laughs> you didn't shine your eyes uh, and look at the yeah. person mm. and look at that area of the person's life. Do you know what I mean? And everyone has a financial habit, a way that they spend the money. It could be a, a hereditary or do mm. something that they've developed as a self defense mode. So I think it's very important for us to just like not just look at the person of character and like how good they are and stuff like that but how do they also spend their money because money is a big part mm-hmm. of your life so you may be wondering okay since you were at that level of commitment to go deeper in your conversations about finances when did that happen mm. so whilst we were still dating or courting people may say um so we weren't engaged at the time I, when i got to the point that all right yeah i'm ready to marry deborah i want to marry deborah she was only getting on the scene it gave me the open door of she said yes thank god and she confirmed that yeah she wants to get married too that i can go now deeper in my conversations about finances mm. so now i'm sharing more about my savings accounts now i'm showing her my monthly budgets you know how much i'm getting how much i'm spending on the mm. different expenses that i had in my monthly budget mm. and with that it just opened more conversation and even ideas of oh this is how we can save more money now or mm. oh now we can be more um a partnership in helping each other to make sure we're not doing any impulsive spending per se but now we're being more wise in the way we're managing our monies yeah. individually so yeah yeah and i think at that point we opened the savings account oh yes and if you watch our how we save for a wedding then you'll know what else we need we'll probably link it there somewhere <laughs> then after we finished uni obviously now we're making like a more considerable amount of money compared to like when we were working at uni we opened up to each other about that too so it wasn't like oh now i'm making more money you don't need to mm. know. like we made it a priority yeah do you know what i mean to just keep the transparency throughout our relationship that nothing was hidden like in all aspects of our relationship not even just money because what if i'm going to commit my life to you Mm. what's the point of what's the point of me hiding certain things because it only doesn't need you anywhere so if we're going to open up about our my heart to you then surely my money is yeah it's included because part of life yeah and i mean i think that's one of the things where even seen it from other marriages or yeah. even just even growing up like yeah. when money is not discussed mm. and we keep it to ourselves it becomes a problem and then yeah. you know then money becomes a problem that yeah. personally with me like we can do it actually probably a video on this but personally with me money is not an issue it's the it's mindset true. with money that's it's the issue true. because if we take money away from marriages what do it, you, have? you know what do you what have like the issue will still be there you know like the two 
people will <laughs> still be there. You know what I mean? So it's about that mindset towards money and our personality and the way we go about dealing with money together. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And not ill-treating each other because of this thing. Do you know what mm. I mean? It's a tool to be used to make, to be effective yeah. and to multiply it yeah. and to grow, not to destroy this unity. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if you're not in a relationship, these are probably things that you can start thinking about yeah. when you start going into a relationship because... You know, we well, we know that money is one of the biggest problems why people have disunity in their marriages or people get divorced and stuff like that. So we made it a, a lifetime mission that that will not <laughs> no, no, be a, that that will definitely not be something that will put us apart. So yeah. So knowing that you guys can start considering thinking about how maybe your money spending habits mm. or how you in the future will discuss money with your partner it, and don't make it like mm, do you know what I mean just mm. a light hearted conversation yeah. and the more you are vulnerable and open up to each other it brings it helps the health of your yeah. relationship and yeah, you definitely. just having a conversation like do you want a tea <laughs> yeah man do you want a tea you bring some snacks you know you can even just make it comfortable yeah. and remember I hope it started as friends and just remember your friends you yeah. know what I mean? Do are your close friends now? You know what I mean? So it's like there's there's nothing really to hide, and we're both being vulnerable, we're both being hum, um, um humbled, yeah. um, we're both being transparent, and we're both to help each other move forward. Yeah. So yeah, man, let, let it be cool. Let it be part of your daily marriage conversations and or dating conversations. Oh, oh yeah, or dating conversations. Or prepare yes. to be yeah dating yeah court in whatever you want to call it yeah. That's long, that's long as legit. Okay. <laughs> right now, hopefully that was helpful and you probably were lighting on, okay, now I know how to go discuss about finances with my boyfriend or girlfriend, mm -hmm. or if you're engaged with my finance, with my fiance with <coughs> as you're getting married. And yeah, just just it should be a cool it should be a cool conversation. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you are your fiance you just talk about money. Don't run away from it. It's mm -hmm. not scary. Plan, plan. Mm -hmm. We're coming up with some videos about that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Stay tuned. Have a good day. <laughs> 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 that was a cheat, bro. Oh, well. ah, hey guys, you? welcome back to Marriage on Money. Actually, let's do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs>